what is up everyone will here from mature minded gamers and today i am joined by none other than brad himself hey what's going on so we are going to be diving into super fantasy brawl should be coming out in the next couple months for backers and then hopefully hitting some friendly local game stores soon after that You've played one game so far. I've played a couple. I am ready to dive in. I'll let you choose the first hero. Great. So we actually have it is me going to be the first player technically, but we'll just call it as you. So All whenever right. you are ready, I'm going to take my girl Soka. We got lots of characters to choose from here. I am going to start off with Goldar. Let's see, my next one. I'm gonna take Hmm. I'm gonna take Darren. All right. Choice. Moving down the list here, I am gonna be rocking Kalel. All right. My third one. I think I need. Definitely have HP with the other two I took, and I played Gwen last time. Let's see here. And that in the background, that is. Oh, you can hear my dog? Sydney. My bad. Cute little corgi. Nah. It's no big deal, man. Who are you picking? Um, well, I think I'm going to try. I'm going to throw it, mix it up here and go with Zhu Zhao. All right. That's actually what I was going to go with if you didn't. Okay. Let's grab Kalel's figure here. I'm going to go with Wrath. So we're going to smash our decks together, give them a good shuffle. We're going to place down our trap tokens. So I am first player, so I'm going to go ahead and place one here. Okay, I'm going to place one here. And then I will grab the next one and play it there. I am going to play it there. Okay. So let's get Kalel there, Goldar here, and Wrath. Let's kind of go with that setup. And, uh, Go with this setup, I think. So our and first objective that's going to be coming up is Defenders of Creation control the creation area. All right, so we are ready to rock. So each of us are going to draw our hand of five cards. Let's see what I've got. A little hard to see here, but I've got Sneak Attack, Scout Ahead, Intimidation, Double Dealing, and Plundar. Hmm. Let's go ahead and start things off with a bang. We're going to spend my yellow core, and I am going to be playing the card Plant or Scout Ahead. It lets uh, me move two spaces, and then I can draw three cards and plan three. So, three, wow. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go ahead and move. We're going to move over this way for two. Get to draw three. And then I can plan. Let's 
see, I drew Nightshade, Me Heart, like Hearties, and Poison Dart. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to plan. Plan this. Well, there's one. I'm gonna plan this for two, and I think that's all I'm gonna plan. So that was my yellow core. We are then going to spend the blue core to do generic action of moving two. We're going to move Kalel two spaces. And then we're going to be spinning my red core to play Poison Dart. And Poison Dart is gives me a one move. Attack of three range. Does not have to be in a straight line. And two damage. And it's also Poison one. So one, two, three. This is going to hit Sulka. She has no armor. She has seven health. So two with a poison. I'm going to use my yellow core to play ambush. Gives her a plus one, and I can move Darren um, next to the attacker. The attacker. Very nice. Do that. And how much were you hitting me for? Uh, just one. So just or excuse one. me, two, two, two. Two. So I'm going to take one damage on Sulka. Yep, and poison. So we're going to skim through the rule book here, and we are going to find poison. So if we look at the back, it's on page six, six and nine. So we go back up to page six. It's not there. So go back to nine for the keyword. So poison says, let's find it here. There we go. During the resolve attack damage step of this attack, if damage was dealt, deal X damage to the target. So you're going to take one extra damage. All right, okay. that was my cores. It's it is your, cores. your turn, and then I'm oh, going to discard nice. my hand and draw my five. Okay, well, 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 well. I am going to. So first off, I'm going to use my red core to play mind control. I'm going to discard the top card of an enemy deck. Go ahead and discard that. All oh right. Boy. And who's it affect? It is wrath uh enemy suffers force two okay so you get the move me two wrath? wrath is that one this one here yep nope so we're gonna go that's gold art that's what i meant one two right onto the trap so wrath is going to have zero armor he's going to suffer two damage And then I will be placing the trap down. Let's go ahead and place that over here. Okay, that, that also got me two. Well, before you place that, though, I got two movement out of that. And you can guess where I was going to go. Okay. So we're going to move this out of the way. So make sure you move first and then do the bottom ability. And then from here... We're going to do uh, have Goldar, so I'm going to use my my blue to spring the trap. The target is in 
uh, trap hex, it gains plus two, which you're not. Uh, well, let's see here. You're in a trap hex, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. This has a range of four, so one, two, three, I can get you. Right, because it has the lob. Yep, so this is going to be a uh, damage four. And since you're in a hex trap, or since you're in a trap hex, you're going to get stunned. Okay, I'm going to react by playing my red core. Oops, wrong. There we go. Flip my red core over. And this gives me plus one defense. And then after the attack, the attack suffers fear two. Cool. And fear does. Let's go back to the handy dandy rule book, page nine. Fear X. If an action or reaction applies fear, the champion who suffered the fear must deal X must dash X in the direction of their choice as long as it's away from the source of the fear. When a champion is affected by fear, the champion must move the maximum dash value they possibly can. Gotcha. Max two. Okay. Can do. Okay. We're going to go one, two. Well, it's dash, so it's a straight line. And oh, you have to move away. Yeah, you have to move away. And you were attacking Wrath, right? Yeah, so it would be away from him. It would be this way. I can only do one. Okay. Okay. And how much damage did you take on that one? Uh, I'm going to... It was tele tech f damage four. Yeah. Plus two damage. If the target is in a trap hex, it suffers stun. All right. So Wrath is going to take uh, three damage. And suffer stun, which stun would be... When a champion suffers stun, its controller must choose and discard a card of that champion from their hand or reveal their hand and so that they cannot. Uh, I do not have any wrath cards in my hand. It's a little hard to reveal my hand, but there we go. As you can see, no wrath cards. I take. Hi. I believe you. Cool. The thing I really like about Tabletopia is the quality of the games. They have a lot of selection of stuff. All right, so that was the end of your turn? Yeah. All and I've right. already reset um, my tokens and drawn my card. So perfect. Good to go. End of yours. These move down. And let's see if I can do anything. Do I control the yellow area? I actually do. So I'm going to score a victory point. This goes away. What's this next one? Control the destruction area. Oh, I have that as well. Let's see if I can maintain it. One thing that I wish I could do. Oh, never mind. Uh, so I just learned something uh, by accident. Okay. Hover over a card mm -hmm. and then hold the Z button in your hand. Aha, that makes it a lot better. Yeah, it does. Easier to read my options here. Whoops. All right, man, this is tricky. All right, so we are going to use double jump for my yellow core. Think. Hmm. Maybe not. 
Nope. Actually, we're going to play this kind of defensively here. We're going to go ahead and play this card here, the yellow card. It's called Double Jump. So I can, before the attack, I can jump three. So I'm just going to jump here. I'm going to hit you for two. Who are you hitting? Sulka. Okay. You hit me for two, huh? Any, re any reactions? Um. Who's hitting me again? Kalel. Kalel. Who's this one? The one on the mount? Yep. I'm just taking a peek here. Um, yeah, I'm going to use my, my blue core to play, whoops, did I flip over your card too? Mm, doesn't seem that way. Okay. Oh yeah, you flipped over Goldar. Oops, my bad. Oh, that's all good. Um, I'm going to play Revenge. Ah! Oops. I know, I fixed it that time. If the target uh, was not taken out of action, the attacker also suffers that damage. So since you're not removing her, um, then you're also going to take two damage. All right. And that's actually two damage itself. And it's not defendable because it's straight damage. <clears throat> okay. Another thing I like about this game is that uh, it doesn't, unless I intend on using the plan feature, it doesn't. It doesn't really hurt to just use cards that I have in my hand, as long as I'm not, you know, taking away from from something like an orb that I was going to use or a core that I was going to use. So there's less risk, I think, in in playing, you know, a card like that instead of holding it for several turns, like you wouldn't, you know, Magic or Aristea well, or something well, right, like that. Well, right, because you're going to discard it anyway. Exactly. So did you take your two? Did I take my two? Two damage oh. from my attack. Yeah, for, yeah, I did. I flipped a, okay. flipped a... Okay, so you're at four. Ah, yeah, no, I wanted you a little bit more hurt, but... All righty. Well... We're just going to go ahead and just spin the uh, blue core. We're going to move two. Kind of hold that position. And we're going to dump my hand, draw five. All right, and the million dollar question is, do you con control the destruction area? You do not. I do not. All right. And I like that Z button. I wish I would have known that before. Yeah, I know. I like it. Really I like it a lot. Stalk beneath. Deal two damage to choose an enemy. The art is just so good. Hmm. Take a look at these cards here. Let's see, Goldar, Kalel, Blow Dart. Absolutely beautiful. You can see the actions you could take here. Dig it. All right. <clears throat> yeah. So the options I want to take are a little limited right now because uh, I used my blue core. Right. So I think uh, we're going to go ahead and play. Um, 
man, I need like one more movement to do what I want to do. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do it. Um, so in that case, suppose I'm going to play Keep slipping my cards, bro. My bad. Um, I'm going to play Spirit Slither. So Sulk is going to move through enemy statues, and they're going to take a negative two until end of turn. So we're going to move through. Um, can't remember their names, but we're going to move through these two people to end up there. Okay. So I suffer minus two armor until the end of the turn. Can't go below yes. zero. Correct. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to use my red core to play this. Uh, dash two and double. So we're going to dash two to here. Oh, oh, oh. Got to use Sushao. Oh, nuts. You can still well, that's get not, over here. Yeah, I can, but that wasn't the uh, the intent. Shoot, I was looking at the wrong person. Um, two range of that. Nuts. And two doesn't put me in range. Okay, well, I guess we will do that then since I have to. All right, so let's double check double. After completing the resolve attack damage step of this attack, resolve this step a second time. So we're essentially going to hit her for uh, two twice. Right. So I'm going to react, not what I want to do, but what I have to do. Nope, I'm just going to take it. So we're just going to, if we take four, that puts her at six. Okay. Yep. And now it is your go, or my go. So before the end of the... Uh, at the end of your turn, we're going to move these down. So the next objective says at least two of your champions are leveled up. All right. So I am looking now to see if I score anything. Oh, look at that. I controlled the destruction area. <laughs> Imagine that. Crazy. So I'm going to get one more victory point. All right. Well, let's see here. All right, so first off, we are going to be spending our red core to play Stalk Beneath. We're going to be using Stalk Beneath, which says deal da two damage to an adjacent enemy. If damage was dealt, place Wrath adjacent to an ally. So that is just straight damage. It is a skill card, so you cannot react to it. Okay. So just two damage straight to Sulka. Just gonna flip that. All right, so she is one away from death. So then the rest of the card says, if damage was dealt, place Wrath adjacent to an ally. So we are going to put Wrath here, and then we are going to play. You know what? Nope. I don't even need to move her. Which is probably best if I don't. It'd be cooler if I did, but hey, we're just going to play Harpoon... Sh Oops, not, not Red Core. Blue Core. Hmm.
Yep, we're just gonna do it. We're gonna do the blue core here, and it is anchors away, two movement for Goldar, and then one damage, and then I can push one. So we are gonna move to here. Which I believe, again, you can move through your own. You just can't end, is that correct? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty darn sure. This rulebook layout is a little wonky, in my opinion. The champions cannot normally move through or in the movement in them. Champions may move through, but not in their hexes, not containing allies. Okay, so Goldar is going to move two there, and then that is going to deal three, uh, uh, okay, the three hex grid, those three, and it's one damage. That's my blue core. Oops. All right. You got a defense? Um, I believe I do, but one second, I'm in the rule book taking a look at something. What you looking up? Nothing. Oh, little trick up your sleeve, huh? I'm going to play, so you're going to do how much damage? Just one. To sulk up. Sulka. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'll let you have it. All right. Well, hang on. So she dies. Yes? Yes. But then I get to push two. And I'm wondering on the chain, does damage... I wonder when you actually get removed. Where you want to push me into a trap? Right. I, th I just don't know. It doesn't actually say in the rule book. All right, so we'll just remove her. Okay. I will level up Goldar. He's immune to push. All right, cool. And now I've got my yellow core. I am going to flip my yellow co core to heal Wrath for one. All right, all my cores are ready up. I discard my hand. Draw the one card of my deck. And I cannot draw it for whatever reason. We will flip these over and reshuffle. And then draw four. All righty. So do you have two or more of your champions leveled up? Nope. No. All right. <clears throat> okay. So step one. It's going to be. I'm going to use my red core to play heavy shot. So you're going to move him two to that. Okay, remember there. range two, three. Huh? Minimum range two, maximum range three. Sure. Okay. Um, oh, but it has to be a straight shot, huh? It has to be in a hex line, yeah. Well, that's going to change things a little bit. Interesting.
I'm not going to be able to do everything I want to do this turn. Shoot. Well, then I suppose I'm going to play Focus with my yellow core, which I've apparently... No, no, no. Yeah. Can't do, because I've already used my yellow core. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to move Darren there and play Heavy Shot. Um, on to... It's got to be Wrath. Yep, I'll do oh. it on Wrath. Okay. Do you have any reactions? All right, so this attack gains plus one if there is a trap hex. After the attack, push one or push two. So you would actually push me one away. It does two damage. Would be enough to kill him. So we're going to flip my red core, and we're going to play Intimidation. Gives me plus one defense, and then after the attack, the attacker suffers fear, too. So again, if we go to page 9, fear would be the champion who suffers fear effect must dash X in a direction of their choice as long as away from the source of the fear. So if you're kind of curious on why we can play these reaction cards, even though it wasn't Goldar as far as the reaction, reaction cards can be played they're not specific and how you kind of know that is there's no icon for that specific character on the card itself the card is just has the Blake white circle all right so am I gonna take one yeah it looks like you're just gonna take the one all right and then you're gonna suffer fear oh wait you see I get pushed yeah I got pushed one directly away all right and then you get fear too you got to move back to all right Actually, I'm going to go this direction. Sounds good. And it doesn't have to be directly. It says in a direction away directly. So as far as, like, he can do that because he has a choice here. He can't go this way because he has to move the full two if he can. So his two options are here and here. Okay. <clears throat> so that was your red and yellows. Yes? Yep, yep, sure. Or no, you, you did a yellow reaction earlier? Yeah, I did. So that means all I've got left now is a... Uh, Where's the yellow card? Oh, did I didn't end up using my yellow card. That's right. Okay. So I do have a yellow. Balls. I would have done that completely different. Oh, man. Well, it is what it is now. Um, in this case, um, yeah, man, that really boned me. I wish I had paid attention to that. I guess I'm going to use this for my yellow this is a Su um, card pounce before so the I'm attack he that. jumps three it's a melee attack and then after the attack he can push them one pretty awesome so i'm going to jump to here okay um melee attack on kalel kalel Any reactions? Um, let me see that card real quick. Let's see here. So we're going to play my yellow car core. My yellow core card is saying go to ground. It's plus one defense. And then after the attack, I jump two.
because I'm afraid your blue core is going to be a shot with Darren. Whoop, whoop, I'm moving stuff. All right, so you're going to essentially do no damage, but after the attack, you will push me into this trap. And it is a stun token. So I do not have any of her cards in my hand. So she is going to take no damage, and then I get to jump for two. So we're going to jump over here for Dos Equis. Okay, I'm going to use my blue to move one and plan one. Because we're going to get Sulka back out on the field. Mm. All right. So downside for me is I have one core to use during my turn. End of the round, we're going to move these up. Next objective is going to be control the manip manipulation area. All right. Well, this isn't much. This is not good for me. Whoops. Man, I keep moving that stuff. So, Su Xiao has 9 health, Darren has 7, Sulka has 7. Who do I need to focus on? So, we're going to play my blue core. We are going to use that to move one. And then we are going to plan one. We're going to plan this one here. Discard the rest of my cards. Draw five. All right. Flip my cores. All right. You've got at least two champions leveled up. No. And nothing for the manipulation area yet. As a quick round for me. Yeah, it fact, was. I only had one core because I reacted twice. Stopped a big turn for you, but I'm sure it's coming back. Oh, let's re flip your cores back over because you haven't used anything. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so step one is going to be Um, I'm going to use my yellow core, play hit and run. Hit and run lets him move three, two of a lob attack. That means it does not require a straight line, can fire through things, and then does two damage. And then after the attack, he can dash two. So we're going to hit Colel. He's wanting to hit Kalel for a mighty two damage. Let's see what I got in my hand for reactions. Two damage would be enough to knock out Kalel. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to play Blinding Dart. It gives me plus one defense, and then after the attack, the attacker suffers stun. So one more damage to Kalel. Maximum of eight health, seven damage. So you're going to suffer stun, my friend. Which again, if we go to the rule book, stun says when a champion suffers stuns, the controller must choose and discard a card of that champion from their hand or reveal a hand showing no cards. <clears throat> this will kind of let me... What I like about stun is the fact that when you play it, it helps you make sure that they don't really get to activate again. That's going to take away Darren's... Uh heavy shot so good call and I can't dash through you can I no you don't have to dash at all though so what did heavy shot do let's take a quick look heavy shot is two movement uh, minimum range of two maximum range of three hex line 
two damage or two attack power I should say this attack gains plus one attack power if Darren is on a trap X and then after the attack push for one or push two if Darren was in a trap X fantastic good card well, Darren is one of my favorite characters to play with so I'm going to use Zhu Zhao okay. with my uh, blue core so this is going to be a card called challenge he's going to move one it is a hex line of two, does two damage, and then after the attack, he gets to pull one. That's going to be against Wrath. Wrath, taking two damage, and if that is enough, there is five damage on there now. Whew, that'd be enough to wipe him out. Do I have another reaction? I do not. Did you so flip that... over your core for that reaction? Oh, nope, sorry, thanks. And then, so that was Wrath being taken out. All health comes off. And he levels up Su Shao. So Su Shao's leveled up ability is enemies adjacent suffer minus one defense. Oh, nasty. Alright, he's got one core left. Yep. Um we're going to use it to move just one forward with this. Deal enough damage to target until they are bloodied. All right, so Flash of Jade, it is three hexes in a semicircle. Deal damage to each target until they're bloodied, so he's going to be hitting uh goldar bloodied essentially means that it is half their health all right so he is now bloodied means he has four of his eight damage on him really big turn really big attack is that end of yours that was your red core all right so these are all going to move down let's see what i got here raking in those vps I do not have two champions leveled up. Oh, wait a minute. I control the manipulation area. Fantastic. So I get another victory point. You're letting me have him, bro. Oh, no. And the next one that is coming out is have two or more champions and trap hexes. Ooh. You're going to be able to do that one easier than I can. Well, let's see here. And Kalel is so close to being toasted. What do we need to do? We need to have champions and trap hexes. We're going to play... Oh, I can't use my blue core. That's a shame. We're going to play my red core. We're going to play mighty jump. So before the attack, I jump three... So I can move one before the attack. I can j then jump three, do the splash attack all the way around, two damage, and then push one on everybody affected. So we are going to move one. Really doesn't matter. We're going to jump three. We're going to land right there. We're going to deal two damage to Sulka, two damage to Darren, or two uh, strength attack, I should say. And that is my red core. What you gonna do about it, mister? Oh, you know what? I didn't grab my VP for knocking out your Sulka.
Light shade. Anchors away. That'd have been nice. And this. Really, I can't use this to bring him back out, though, because it doesn't have a movement ability. It's rough. Who are you reacting with? Which one of your champions is going to get that? I guess I'm talking on mute. I was going to say you're pushing me one after all this is over with. Yes, sir. Okay, so... Um, that's actually going to defend Darren. Okay. Um, so he's not going to take any damage. Solka is going to take two damage. Okay. And then actually three, because when you push and you can't move anywhere, pow, you pot hit back for another one. Well, so, I did not know that. So, so let's... Either way, she's going to either suffer one and he's going to suffer two, or you suffer all three of it on... And I'm rooted, so. Yeah. That's so what you want to do. I think we're going to do that on Sulka. Okay. So that just becomes one. You got two on Darren. Mm-hmm. Sounds good, man. All right. And I'm rooted. And I'm rooted. But that was my last really action I could take anyway, because the only thing I could really do now is I've got to move Wrath in. gonna go here and then we're going to use my the last part of the yellow to heal one which he doesn't have any damage so not really much else I could do okay discard my hand draw five step one is gonna be to play my to flip my red core to play mind control so go ahead and discard your top card Top card says, Me heart is. It is a Goldar card. So he's going to take... You're going to force him too? Yep. So you're going to go right to the one of the traps? Sure am. Pow. What is this trap doing? It is... Ooh, just one damage. We'll take it. So we got to... Three, four, five. Mm-hmm. Out of eight... Um, next up with my blue, gonna play Life Drain uh, on uh, Kalel. So it's two damage to Kalel, um, and I steal that life. Or so whatever damage that I I do, I also gain in health. Yep. No reactions. Oh, I can't react to it anyway. It's a skill. Mm-hmm. So you're attacking Kalel? Yes. So I only have one life anyway. So you're going to heal for one. Okay. That's, uh, that's me. Okay. So let's see here. We've got two more champions leveled up i do not though you do so we got to knock out one of your guys real quick all right have two more champions and trap hexes and i don't think i could bloody you enough here Decisions, decisions, and it's got some, some de this, man, this is rough. Well, I hate to kind of waste this, but I'm going to, whoop, I'm going to spin this yellow core. 
Your cores are all flipped right now. Oh, yeah, I got to refresh, don't I? Wait, I didn't move anything down, did I? But you did use your yellow core as a... Oh, no, you didn't. That's what you made me discard. Yep. All right, yeah, you haven't flipped your cores over either. Thank you. I, uh, two more champions adjacent to Esme statue. Esme statue is the blue one. All righty, so... I need to, let's see, it says move two. So I'm going to move Kalel in. And then I draw three, plan three. So draw three. And then I can plan three. Okay, so now I'm going to spend my spend my blue core. It is a three hex line. We're attacking Darren. So I can move one. So yeah, I'm going to move one. Oh, wait, I have two movement with Scott ahead, didn't I? So one, two, three. Okay. Take the one. Okay. Oh, that's to Darren, though. And then you are going to be pulled two. So you're going to be pulled two towards me. So take two more. Hmm. And then you also suffer stun. Which just means I have to discard one of her cards. Guess we're gonna dump this card. That stinks. All right, so he trashed Prowl. Okay. Guess that's the only Darren card I have, apparently. Oh no, it wasn't. All right, and so I have a red core left over still. Sorry, I grabbed the wrong card. Just ambushed instead. So now you know I have Prowl. And then we're going to be using my red core to use Poison Dart. Poison Dart is I can move one. So we're going to move one over here. And that is Lob 3. So we're going to attack Darren again. It does 2 damage. And poison one. So again, let's go to poison. If damage is dealt, you're going to take additional damage. So it's potential three if you don't block it. Uh, I can't block it, so I guess Darren's going to eat it this turn. Yeah. Not exactly who I wanted to kill, but so Darren dies. I get a victory point. This goes over here. Um, so, so right off the bat, I'm going to score on this one. 
All right, yep, go down the list. You have two or more champions leveled up, so you score that. Do you have two more champions in trap hexes? You do not. And then do you have two more champions adjacent to Esme statue? And you and I do not. So your four victory points to my five. Okay, step one is going to be to play focus, which is going to move uh, Zhu Zhao one, and all my champions gain plus one damage, plus one movement for the rest of the turn. Mm -hmm. um, so you got to move first. Yeah. So Zhu Zhao is going to move one mm -hmm. um, and then he's going to do double strike onto a garavan <laughs> goldar goldar whatever <laughs> garavan i like it all right so that would uh, deal two damage each hit three three damage three damage each hit I have no reactions to do, so that just kind of decimates Goldar, except for I do have one armor set, still two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still enough to kill him. I have no reactions to play. So Goldar bites the bullet. He levels down. Comes off the board. Okay. Um, so you got a blue core left. Oh, what else does it do? Is it uh, it's a dash? dash? Oh, that's before the attack. Okay. Oh, is it before the attack? Mm-hmm. It's an arrow to the left. Well, it's okay. I'm where I'm at. Cool. And then your blue core? Uh, blue core is we're going to draw two, play one. Mm-hmm. Or draw two, plan one. So this is for Darren, and it is a skill card, meaning can no reactions can be played. Oh, you know what I just noticed, though? Um, I mean, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, but adjacent enemies suffer negative one defense, so that, that other defense you would have had. Yep, wouldn't have mattered, would have. Yep. Uh, blues manipulation, right? Yep. Okay, just checking. So I draw to... Plan one. Okay. Why did you draw two, plan one? Because of the card I played. Oh, okay. Oh, the Darren card? Gotcha. My fault. That's okay. And that's my turn. All right. These are all going to move down. So the new one that's out is Control the Enemy Deployment Area. Have two more champions just in the Esme statue and have two or more champions in trap hexes. So let's see what we can get done. Um, last time we, uh, we've had a, quite a battle going on so far. A lot of, a lot of craziness going on. Okay, well, let's see what we can get done here. <clears throat> so, first action for me, as I need to be able to get one of these objectives this game. More specifically, I do want to either try to have this one, or I want to have this one at the end of my turn. Um, let's begin. I'm going to be playing my blue core. We're going to be using double dealings here. We're going to be playing out Goldar, and we're going to go ahead and move him one for here and two for here. We're going to be doing range two. We're going to be hitting Su Shao for a two double. Blue car, blue core, excuse me. 
Brad, what do you think about uh, what do you think about this game so far? Oh, I really enjoy it. I mean, it's easy to easy to pick up, hard to master. Uh, I think the more you familiarize yourself with the champions, the easier it's going to get. Uh, there's lots of different possibilities, and just learning from the players that I've used or the champions I've used. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of power combos. Mm-hmm. A lot of potential. A lot of potential here in this one. I'm excited to see. Hopefully they they don't just make this a one and done, and they continue to support and release new champions. Pretty excited. You're uh, hitting Zhu Zhao, right? Yes, sir. All right, and you're hitting him for two. Two four. with a double. Yeah, it'll be a total of four. Oof. Um, afraid he's gonna probably have to take that. Mm, horrible. Total of nine health. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else we can get done. Yeah. All right. We are going to be then spending. We're gonna go ahead and spend our yellow core here. Be moving Goldar up one again. This time we're gonna be playing Plundar. Movement of two, I'm only gonna use one. It is a melee attack, it is two damage, and then after the attack, I could draw one for each damage dealt. Oof. So he went from four to six damage on a total of nine and then so I can draw two cards my hopes here is I get a red card I did not get a red card that would help me so the one thing I can do is I can spend my red core oh, man I could either get a free movement and then and then deal one damage to an adjacent enemy or I could just spend the red core to move two so we are in fact just gonna spend the red core because you're gonna move first so I'm just gonna move Goldar there so it didn't help me as much as I was hoping it would so let's discard my hand and draw my five okay flip my cores and on to you good sir all right. So the advantage for you is you do have Sulka leveled up. It gives her the ability of after you play a Sulka manipulation card, which manip manipulation is the blue cards, he can then draw one and then plan one. He has Su Shao leveled up. Adjacent enemies suffer minus one defense. Really the only one that's going to help him out against is Goldar, who has one defense. Scourge of the Several Seas. Um... So I'm going to start with my red core. Oops, I flipped your discard pile over. I did. Um, move in two. We're only going to use one of those two. And so I'm he's going to be using to... Flash of Jade, which gives him two movement, and then basically three champions will become half dead. What a powerful, powerful card. So not only is it going to deal four to Goldar, that is also going to be dealing four to Kalel. And the thing is that if you look at this card, it is a skill card, so it's not even an attack. So let's go ahead and deal four to Kalel. And again, let's just double check the rule on Bloodied. This is how it was, I guess. I'll make sure I guess I'm still doing it right. So let's go to page nine in the Handy Dandy Rulebook. So a champion is either bloodied when they have half their hit points or fewer remaining. All right. So not All much right. I could even do on even a reaction. Couldn't really do much here. All right. All right, all right. 
that all right. So I'm now going to use my blue core play challenge. challenge. So he's going to step back one. Okay. It's going to give him a two, or excuse me, a one movement, a two and a hex line. It's going to deal two damage, and then it's after the attack, it's going to pull for one. Yep. So All right. Do that to Goldar. Goldar. So we are going to. We're going to go ahead and play this yellow core. What this is going to give me, it is going to give me plus one defense, which makes my defense uh, plus two. So Su Shao is no longer adjacent to me, so I no longer lose my plus one. So I am still at a two defense. And then after the attack, I can jump two. Now, does your jump resolve after my pull? Yes, so you're, yours is going to go up first in the chain, if I'm not mistaken. So let's double check this. No, resolve the reaction ability, uh, the after attack from reactions, then from the attack card. All right. So I'm actually going to jump to first. So then if it is still true that you can pull me, you would, but now you won't. So... But you would take one damage for not being able to be pulled. Well, you can't. You wouldn't still be pulling me. Mm. Why is that? So, the reaction of the skill of the. Uh, here, let's see if we can find it in here. Step eight. So reactions. When reactions cause effects like push or pull or damage, the target reaction card is the champion cause the effect. Let's challenge deck. I just remember them talking about that in FAQ, but let's see if we can find it in their rule book, see if they've kind of updated this at all. No, I'm not seeing that. All right, let's look here. Resolve before attack abilities. Resolve attack damage. Resolve reaction abilities and then resolves over from the attack card well it is not in here so no that makes sense I'm, I'm cool with that no it but it's not in the rule book so I'm, I'm good playing it either way I just remember that they said something about if it if it was no longer a like a, a valid distance as far as like range and stuff because oh, that's okay. range two in this particular instance it still accomplished the same goal cool okay so um, we have a yellow core still yep so we're going to use that yellow core to move one and heal one okay So end of the round, these move down. So I look to see if I score any. Have two more champions at trap hexes. I do not. Have two more champions adjacent to Esme statue. I am adjacent to Esme statue with two more to my champions. That is worth the final wait, two victory blue, points. Though. This is Esme statue. I'm not. Yeah, there's nothing with the control area. This is this the statue. not a control area. No, I'm, it doesn't say it had to be in the control area. It just says adjacent to the statue. Oh. Okay. 
can I see? Yeah. So a short little video to end up round two. Let's go over some some thoughts of the game, some components. Good game to you, sir. You still have one more, VP? Yeah, I just need. I didn't grab that one. I only had two what? left in that pool. And where did was that one? Oh, this one. Worth two. Yep. Because it advanced first. Oh, I see. So thoughts, final thoughts of your full first full game. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I mean, same thoughts I had a few minutes ago. It's easy to pick up. Um, I definitely want to continue to play it. Um, I uh, I appreciate the simplicity of it and um, the the gameplay. I love the art. Yeah, the art's nice. I think I'll appreciate that more when the actual game comes out. But yeah, for there's now, just go ahead. I was gonna say there's something to be said about actually holding the cards and playing it by physically doing it as opposed to doing something electronic. Right. Especially with games like this. Sure. Um, I was just gonna say the mechanics of the game seem pretty, uh, pretty, pretty strong. Uh, the the rule book seems to be pretty clear, uh, aside from a you know a few things here and there that mm -hmm. that uh, may need to get cleaned up uh, at some point or some questions answered. I bet you there's some some threads on Board Game Geek that we can we could take a look at at some point. But yeah, overall it's a it's a a fun simple arena style game. Um, I would definitely give this uh, give this high marks. I am very excited. You know this game could well have done which is these standees but what they've done is they've the actual game in the kickstarter has a whole pile of miniatures like the statues are going to be 3d pieces for the kickstarter neoprene mat um, card sleeves a whole bunch of, of extra models and stuff and there's just so much to this so far and they talk about trying to support this on the like tournament scene if you will i think that could be could be huge releasing new champions having tournament organized play i'm pretty excited i yeah. i love how the models are sculpted the art design i love everything about it i love the simplicity i love i love the tactfulness but not the complexity you know part of me is like well aristea is is just on the cusp of being just a little bit too complex for a casual play well, this is almost like a beer and pretzels game where you and a buddy can just sit down and go to town and not have to worry about measuring and and a whole bunch of other like little fiddly rules and making sure if I don't have this book in this paragraph, you know, all that Warhammer stuff. I like these little games. Agreed. So I am very excited this one coming out. For sure. When do we when do we get this one? We should be receiving this one. They are talking about finishing up production now with the, the COVID-19 from China. They are still in manufacturing, kind of finishing it up right now. So we're hoping to see this one uh, like around the end of May, end of June time frame, somewhere around there. So, all right, everyone. That was Super Fantasy Brawl on Tabletopia. Be sure to check out all of our other fantastic, wonderful content on MatureMindedGamers.com. We hope to see you guys next time at the table.